This morning I was driving with my two boys in the car and the oldest one was sitting in the front next to me building Lego and lo and behold one of the teeny weeny little Lego pieces fell in between the seats. You know that space that is just too small to get your hand in. He was getting so frustrated trying to get that piece out of there that he slammed his other hand on the bucket of remaining Lego that was on his lap and it went flying everywhere. Quite an adventurous drive this morning. But it was the perfect time to reinforce a very important life skill. I told him that it is okay to get frustrated. I mean, we all get frustrated at times. Nothing wrong with that. But we can't scream and shout and hit and bang stuff because we are frustrated. We have to find another way to deal with it. Maybe just stop doing what we are doing for a moment and take a few deep breaths and then we can try again. But this whole ordeal this morning made me think, all in all, frustration is not really such a bad thing. Depends on what you do with it. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends and your family if you think that it can help them too. So the big question is, how do women like us, who are wearing so many different hats each day, and who don't cheat by looking like we have everything under control, take back our homes and life, free from the chains of clutter? How do we simplify, get started, get unstuck, let things go and create more time, so that we can truly focus on what is essential for a happy and healthy life with our loved ones? That is the question, and this show will give you the answers. My name is Lizelle Tenton, and welcome to the Vanilla Essence Show. Now, as I said, we all get frustrated, but the importance lies in what we do with that frustration. Does everyone and everything around us pay for it, or do we channel it, the energy that it creates, to get done what we so badly want to change and get done? Because frustration does create a sense of energy. It makes me angry. And when I'm angry, I get things done. Have you ever cleaned your house while you were angry? Angry because the children didn't pick up their stuff or your husband has left his clothes on the couch again. Or maybe even angry at something completely different. Oh man, then I'm like a steamroller going through that house and everybody just has to make it out of the way. But amazingly, I get things done. Nothing is too heavy to lift or to move out of my way to get behind it, to clean it properly. The dictionary defines frustration as the feeling of being upset or annoyed as a result of being unable to change or achieve something. And the opposite of frustration is defined as satisfaction. And that's the key. We have to learn to turn our frustration into satisfaction. Frustration can be hard to put into words. It's a complicated mix of anger and disappointment and annoyance. It is not always a productive emotion. And while we can't always control that we feel it, we can control how we react to it. Now, in general, we are advised to deal with frustration by doing some breathing exercises or to take some time to meditate, exercise, yoga, journal, or just get outside. But I want to add, deal with it by starting to declutter. Grab a box or a bag and start sorting through your stuff. You will be amazed at how easy it is to let stuff go when you feel angry and frustrated. I mean, really angry and frustrated. As I mentioned, anger and frustration create physical energy. The brain shunts blood away from the gut and towards the muscles in preparation for physical exertion your heart rate, your blood pressure and respiration increase and your, the body temperature rises and your skin perspires. The mind is sharpened and focused and ready to take action. I mean, what is the alternative? Crying, screaming, shouting, feeling sorry for yourself. Absolutely no good comes out of that. And just continuing to hold these emotions like frustration and anger in is also not good for you. It can wreak havoc on your body over a long period of time. 
It can even put your heart at risk. But when we turn it into constructive anger, it has quite the opposite effect. It can also weaken your immune system, it can make your anxiety worse, and it is also linked to depression. So rather let that energy, that anger and frustration create work for you. Use it to get things done instead of feeling sorry for yourself. Even if you have to throw those items that you are decluttering with force into those boxes or bags, it doesn't matter. You are winning. You are decluttering your home. Thanks again for joining me today. Please like my page if you're on Facebook, follow me on Instagram or subscribe to my YouTube channel. But first, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends or your family if you think that it can help them too.